Hello, friends. I have not made a video in a while, and I was sitting down to work on finishing up some a stack of paintings that, you know, are, I don't know, we're at some stage and need to get further on. So then I thought, well, I might as well record and chat with you while I'm doing that. And so I've got my coffee and all set up. It's kind of windy and in gray clouds here in Virginia today, and it's actually pretty dramatic looking, pretty. Um, and so let's see, what else have I had going on? Well, let me just talk about this, this one. I am just working on uh, putting in some darker bits as feeling like what it needs um, in the background, maybe a little more contrast. I don't really, I don't really know, we'll see. I do wanna leave uh, some of this turquoise for sure, quite a bit of it, but maybe just some bits of, of background in a darker color. And I'm doing that by mixing this Prussian blue with this burnt sienna gives me that kind of navy that I like. Um, so that's a little bit about this. And uh, I guess what I've been working on lately is um, getting my images to my agent. I have an agent grateful licensing and they, you know, show my work to people and it takes some time to scan them and get them over to him. And I've had a stack that I just, a lot that I haven't done. It's from sketchbooks and um, so I was playing with, they were getting those, doing lots of scanning, cleaning up. It was actually kind of fun. I'd forgotten all the various um, Things since I have so many sketchbooks at this point, I'll, I'll forget, you know, what I did in one, and then I open it back up and say, "Oh, I really like that." Of course, it's not finished, <laughs> but that's okay. So it's been kind of fun. So I, if I did it more often, then I wouldn't be as surprised. But it is what it is. You can only do what you can do, right? I kind of like how that bits of background showed through there. Um, I started out on this one with just a background of watered down, it was either acrylic or acryl gouache, definitely something with acrylic in it so that it would dry and not get reconstituted with water. Um, oh, I do have a, a fun thing to share. I shared it on social, but so speaking of the, my agent, um, I love puzzles and the Robin's Burger has always been just that brand that, you know, is, seems like a really good quality puzzle and generally really good images. Anyway, he um, got me a puzzle deal for one of my paintings, which is so exciting. It won't, it won't be around till, um, what did he say? Sometime in 2020, yeah, I guess spring of 2025, which doesn't surprise me, these things take a while. But that'd be so exciting, it's just, it's thrilling. And, uh, it's just, you know, I started on my kitchen table, filled with fear, <laughs> completely, literally, it's amazing. It's amazing that I did anything at all, which, which with as much fear as I was feeling about creating and the, the mind chatter and all the junk in my head. Um, but somehow I did, and that, that journey continues, you know, that whole 
relationship with the, the voice that is often less than encouraging. In fact, I've been getting deeper into that because I, you know, I want to be free. I know, I know it'll never go away, but I, I want it to have less and less influence. So I've been getting back into my mindfulness reading and meditating and researching and just I'll be sharing some of that probably in a newsletter. I think it's really helping. Because, you know, I believe that we all have this potential creative potential. I don't believe that, you know, people say, oh, you're so creative or I'm not creative. I, I just, I don't think that's real. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying they don't feel that way when they say it, but I'm just saying that I don't believe it. Um, they just haven't gotten themselves to a place where they can open up that possibility of being creative. So that mental part to me, is what keeps so many people from creating. And that's kind of where I like to explore. Because as I said, it, it nearly kept me from creating. And there have been so many students that are creating. Um, like in my Facebook group, it's just unbelievable. And, you know, they'll say I... I was too scared and I didn't try or I gave up. And and then when I see what they're creating, even if, you know, it's a process, like, but in the beginning, they don't much like what they're creating and then it just goes from there. But just the, the, the idea, I guess what gets me excited is the idea that if they hadn't, tried, we wouldn't get to see all the things that they've created. Or if I hadn't tried, I wouldn't, you know, have things now that I'm just, you know, excited about. That maybe bring a little joy to the world, which the world is always in need of. So in that way, maybe it's, I don't want to say our responsibility to try to create because that just sounds too heavy handed, but it's certainly nothing we should feel guilty about or like it's overindulgent because you just never know. I started out, I think it's still in my Instagram feed if you go back far enough with these simple drawings of, and I'm not a drawer, like um, I don't draw now. I mean, I, I rarely draw, but they were, it was a an Instagram little group that started drawing. I can't remember what it was called. What was that called? Oh, maybe it was just like a hashtag of drawing prompts. It was different prompts and it was things like feathers one day, you know, and so I've got some in the sketchbook and drew some feathers and posted them. And then there was like a telephone and just these little prompts. And that's literally how it started. And then and then I got brave enough to try flowers and they were very, you know, circular and, you know, basic. But we start where we start. I guess the important thing is to start and also to keep, to keep at it. And even through those periods of time where you feel discouraged. All right, do I want a little more dark here? 
I think I do want some and some here. And I'm, I'm gonna do something with this peach there. I'm not thrilled with that. I don't know why, but it doesn't, it's not doing it for me. Something feels like it's needed here so that this doesn't kind of just fall off the page with that turquoise. But I do like the turquoise, so I'm going to kind of go like that and leave it, leave some of it. And I'm just kind of sitting back. Oh, I hope I haven't taken this out of the... Let me see if you can see this. Oh, I think I've been... Let me adjust this a little bit. Decide if I've maybe done as much as I want to on that. Maybe a little more here. The reason I add the sienna to the blue is otherwise it's too blue for me. It's just, I like a, a richer kind of navy. It's just my, I guess a color that's kind of become my thing or in, in my darks anyway. And I'm using Turner Acro Gouache here. I always forget to say what I'm using. And this is just a Blick Master Stroke Golden Tackle on number four. I have these uh, on my website under my sup under supplies. I have both Amazon supplies and my Blick supply list. Links to those. And um, I don't know. It's kind of fun to. I use, I mostly use the brushes that are that are my custom set. But when I want to do smaller, finer work like this, I use these. I love kind of how that brought that out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. PG. It either needs to be maybe another coat. Let's try that just to see. And if not, uh, if I don't like that, then I'll set it aside and revisit it later. I've got this. This is the Holbein Acro Gouache. Their gouache and Acro Gouache don't look anything like each other, the tubes. This is the Acro. It's got that A on it. And then this is their regular gouache. I think I'm going to go to, this is one of my custom brushes just before it got covered with the color I chose, the turquoise color. But any, any uh, decent quality synthetic brush is kind of my go-to for this kind of thing. So tell me what you've been up to lately in the comments when you feel like it. What you've been painting. And I'm going to do a giveaway soon on Instagram because I'm going to hit 100,000 followers soon and I have neglected to do any giveaways. I don't want to do like a, I don't know, I just want to make it about you guys and creating. So I don't know, maybe I'll just say something like, um, tell me what you're going to do for yourself creatively, you know, in the comments and something like that and pick a random, I'm going to have to pick more than one winner because I always it's always hard to do that, just pick one, because I have some prints that I'm going to give away. So if you're not following me on Instagram, 
This might be a good time to do that. It's Suzanne Aller Design. All right. Well, I need to walk away because I'm still not loving that up there. But it could be that I'm just getting obsessive about it. So we'll set that aside and see what else would be fun to work on. These are just like acrylic with the Nova Color acrylics, which are the acrylic paints in the U.S. that um, you can't buy in a store. You buy them uh, on the internet, and I have a what do they call it? A, an artist bundle with them. So the colors that I selected, but any any you know, good quality acrylic paint is fine. These are good for the money though. I will say they're like an artist grade paint for a student grade price. Unfortunately, they can't, the shipping overseas makes them not, you know, workable for overseas. I'm looking through these to decide which one I want to play with, if any, maybe I'd rather See if there's anything in a sketchbook that needs work. These are all. That could use some details. And I want the vase to be bigger, but maybe I'll just take the vase out and turn that into a flower. Hmm, that could use that could use some things. This is the one I did recently on Instagram. Uh Time lapse. Took like 40 minutes and shortened it to something like a minute and a half. Oh, that's so funny. All right, let's add some something, something to this one. I feel more interested in doing that right now than these those other acrylics. Not, nothing there is moving me. This, these are fun because I can get my nail color two crayons out. My oil pastels and I already have this navy going and we could use some contrast here so let's do that um, another idea I have is I I wrote actually in the same vein as I was talking about before mindfulness and the inner critic I wrote like a basically a, a meditation, a creative meditation to kind of put us in a, I wrote it for myself, but then I thought, well, maybe I should share this. Um, put us in a, that frame of mind. So I was thinking about recording that and sharing it. I guess on YouTube. I don't have a sound studio and I don't I don't have a way to you know have lovely music in the background so I you know would want to make sure that it's peaceful sounding but maybe I could play with that Let me know if you think that would be of interest. It's short. Um, I'm still here, I'm just thinking. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll switch to some crayon. The crayons just ate, create such a nice texture. I almost said eight. Like, I'm like eating. Like they are delicious looking, I must say. This is actually, this one is a gold, yeah, metallic, but it doesn't really show up that way. It shows up more like a uh, green, which I actually use it a lot. That's why it's short. It's a nice green color. Oh, why is pink so pretty? It's like the, um, if you're watching from Australia, you all have the best color palette, in my opinion. Just the artists there. The pinks and the siennas and it just, it really is attractive to me. So what I do, um, I'm thinking about this as I'm drawing this, because uh, I was telling you that I've been scanning things for my agent, is I scan things like this and then I have to fix the seam. And so it's easier if I do a little work like this, joining the two sides. Um, so that there's less of a line. It, it's, it might be hard to understand what I'm saying unless you do it. But it's just something that I was thinking about as I was playing with this. Do we want any oil pastel? Well, maybe a little. Like these colors. I think when I think of the Australian art artists, there's like this this whole range of pinks and oranges, and then warm yellows, like maybe, well, that's kind of bright, but some lavender, just really yummy. Try a little bright yellow. These are the Mungyo oil pastels, which uh, I talk about a lot because they're just amazing for the money. I mean, actually, they're amazing, period, because I bought, where is it? Well, this is an Aquawell. And then I have a couple of Sennelier in here, which are a lot more expensive. And honestly, is that it? It's no better. And it's just, anyway, I'm really impressed with these. Um, they're on Amazon. I've got a link to them in my my list, and I've had these like two years. I'm not an expert at oil pastels, so there may be something that Sennelier can do that's better, but for what I do and for these, the color, the, they stay this beautiful color. And this is one of my favorite colors too, this periwinkle. I'm gonna just bring those out a little bit. Color got lost a little bit. We're not lacking for color here, that's for sure. All right, I think that's enough. 
There's one to scan. Um, let's see what to do with this. I'm not even sure what to do with this. I was playing with the background and then went back in with paint. Um, I don't even know if I much like it, but let's start playing and see. I put some contrast in here and see what happens. Came out kind of black. because it's because there's already orange underneath. So I'll just go with a little bit more blue. Still coming out black. There, it's a little more blue. Too blue. I just got an idea for something that might help this. What I think it needs is, you know, I have to get, get the acrylics or a gouache back in and go over some of the, the flowers again and reclaim some of that space that the background bits took out. Um, I could also just play with something like this. It might end up, you never know, it might end up, it's funny, that you think that you know where something's going to go and then it could just as likely end up in the bin as end up getting scanned and something I like. <laughs> when it's at this stage, it could go either direction. That's why I always encourage people to just keep going you know, don't give up on it and see where it ends up. At some point, you won't be able to fuss with it anymore and you'll either like it or not like it. And, you know, then you can make a decision. But when it's in the ugly stage and it's, you know, and you still have room to play, play with it. I could also, instead of getting the paints out, reclaim some flowers base with these, just that you can't control the color as much. I have a lot of colors, but I don't have every color. And if you're gonna bring paint out, then it can muck things up, but I'll, I'll at least show you. Is this the red I was looking for? Yeah. I thought I had a red, there it is. I was gonna say that I really like that it's not as red. Not a pinky red. Let's see here. It's too green. So I'm just rubbing if I want it 
a little less textured just to get that bit of color in there. Just playing. It's gonna be too. It is getting better. The thing about, oh gosh, creating is an ever, ever, never ending uh, process of learning, right? About yourself. But it does help to not get too attached to where something's going and if it's going in, you know, the direction the quote unquote right direction, because especially in this stage, we don't know. We have to be okay with it. You know, just being a learning exercise that ends up not working. Because then we can be free, more free. Right? At least that's what I'm, that's what I find. If I can let go and play. Uh, you know, I think of a kid, they're not sitting there. <laughs> In fact, it's absurd to think of like a four-year-old sitting there going, well, where's this going? I don't know. This is, this might not be any good. <laughs> they're just in it. Hmm, I like it better. I'm going to work on the greens now. This is turning out to be quite a long paint and chat session. Maybe it helps make up for not having done one in a while. If you enjoy these, share, share them so we can get more people creating and believing in themselves. Because there's no such thing as enough not creative. There are different types of creativity. It doesn't need to be painting. But I always say if you if you have the yearning like I did, or even just the yearning for color or to express yourself somehow, then you have the capacity. Because I believe that yearning wouldn't be there if you didn't have any capacity. And that color is nice. Oh yeah, I like that. Where else can we put that? With some orange. Or maybe a yellowy orange. Like, I had no idea when I pulled this out with you guys that I would end up using oil pastels on it. I didn't know what I was going to do. All right, I really like these rust colored. Well, I don't know what they are. They could be leaves. It's gonna to be too dark, I think. They could be some sort of flower. They could even be a branchy thing. I'm just looking, there's a copper. Let's see if that, it's too dark. We'll have a lot of texture in there by the time I find the color I want. This is where it's nice to have paint. Well, I do have the sienna already out. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a little bit of 
actually that, oh, it's already dried. That pink with the sienna would have mixed nicely. Where'd my brush go? Well, I'll just use this one. Let's make a little bit of sienna. Yeah. And I'm gonna make these brush marks not overly fussy because I want to keep that feeling that these kind of underpainted thing had. And now that color is saying to me, I need to go a few other places. because I am pretty. Hmm. I don't love there, those two there. So, since I did that on acrylic paint, I'll just take it off. All right, I think it's a good place to stop. Okay, as soon as I say that, I see something else. Just want to maybe use this color to define this a little bit. All right, I really am gonna stop. Oh, thank you for joining me. This is so much fun. And um, see you next time. Check out my classes in the description. Um, I have a free class, the color mixing class. I'll put, I think that's at the top of my description. So you can sign up for that. And it's a seven week. I think I send out a new video every week on it. And it comes with this ebook that I worked really hard on. It's really pretty and it, <laughs> it has a, a tool in it that I think helps with color mixing. Um, so take advantage of that if you like and we'll see you next time. Keep creating.